Hey yo, my planicos are friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor! Hey yo! And welcome back! to Park Spotlight. That is right. You guys have been asking for it. You guys have been missing it. And we are bringing back the Park Spotlight. We had to get that big contest out of the way. And now that that's done, we can start focusing on parks again. So we're going to be doing a bunch of different things this week. But we're going to be starting off with a bit of a mini park for reasons that we have not yet explained. So stay tuned <laughs> and we'll fill you in. <laughs> All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing well today. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out our subscriber plus join. We're gonna be doing monthly vlogs. Gonna have one coming out in the next few days here. And if you, know, if you wanna support the show, any support is appreciated. You can do that through YouTube join now. And there's a lot of fun benefits there as well as the Patreon with priority spotlights and all that good stuff. So check out the links down below and uh, we're gonna get right on into this episode. We've been uh, having a lot of talks on Discord. People want another contest already. <laughs> yep. and there has been discussions it. yes it's I, yeah it's just an everyday conversation i can't get away with it i can't get away from it so what we're going to be doing is um doing a little bit of a test so today we're going to be looking at pokey park created by tiago hummel and here they say mm -hmm. hi i was inspired by this 20 by 20 park challenge that i saw on facebook and gave it a try my goal was to have as many rides as possible going for a carnival style also you will find some tribute to rct classics pokey slash ding Dinky Park. Hope you enjoy. Ah, I love the Dinky Park scenario in RCT. So let's jump into this and talk about what's going on a little bit here. Okay, so here's Pokey Park. As you can see, it's a 20 by 20 park. It's an end to end park, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Literally. But look at the size of the actual park. So one thing we've been discussing is doing a mini coaster contest or mini park contest. But I don't know if 20 by 20 is the appropriate size. It could mm -hmm. be yeah. uh, 40. I checked that, yeah, 25 or 25, which is actually pretty nice. I think it gives you restraint and it gives you space to build. Even a 40 by 40 wouldn't be unreasonable yeah. either. Why can't I use my marquee tool? So it'd be like that size. Yeah. That's not bad. It also be. Mm -hmm. It all comes down to the viewers and the the uh, Discord. How how much enjoyment do you get from a park this big? Because if we end up putting, I know people want park spotlights. It's the most popular thing on this show. So, um, how do you feel about that after seeing seventy of them <laughs> in a row and at this size? I mean, do you want them sure. bigger? Do you want a park contest? These are all the answers we need. And we yeah. need you to put them down in the comments below for me to read. I mean, first of all, from everything we've seen from the community, these people, you know, you make the most amazing stuff, right? So every, all of them are going to be different and they're going to be cool. That's yes. for sure. Yes. Um, and I'm actually amazed what he put into a 20 by 20 park. I mean, it is absolutely insane because most rides take up a quarter of the space. Yeah, and if, if you actually participate in this Facebook challenge or any mini park, um, leave a link down to your creation down below so that we can actually um, check it out. Because I only had one in my inbox from what I could tell. The next one is also a mini park, but it's more like a 20 by 40. And we'll be checking that out in tomorrow's episode. So we do have a coaster right away. Let's just jump on this. Uh, your sign is upside down. <laughs> I love this song. So it's the yeah. underground. Uh, Impulsion Viper 1. There's a look at the stats if you want to see them. Let's throw this thing in test mode and give it a go. Coaster, obviously not a lot going on here. Yeah. And the only thing is that uh, the pole that hits you in the face. Yeah, that's that. You yeah, need to put something the underneath the support <laughs> so it disappears. Um, and and this is one of my concerns. So we do a mini park contest. Well, let's say we do a mini park contest. I don't know if there's enough sprawling space here to create a big enough coaster. You can even see this coaster is the main attraction, but it's very small. So mm -hmm. it, I thought, like you know, at the very least, we're gonna see. 70 coasters or whatever, but they're all going to be like 
30 second coasters. So, and is there much of a park here to explore? So maybe 20 by 20 is too small. It's quaint, it's cool to look at, but what if we just did screenshots like this and we just showed everyone the screenshots? You know what I mean? Like, is, yeah. it, is it worth a video? Or is it worth like something that we do more internally and show off pictures? Um, there's so many questions here, but part of the, the whole point of a park spotlight to me is to explore and look around. And there's not a whole lot to explore and there's not a whole lot to look around at. So I'm thinking for me personally, 20 by 20 is too small, but it's certainly a fun challenge. But is it a fun yeah. challenge after 70 episodes of it? And it, does it fulfill all of the requirements that we look for or the things that you want to watch when you come watch a Park Spotlight episode? I don't know. And this is why I want all you guys to leave comments down below and we get as much feedback as possible. Let's check out this coaster. So another fun but simple coaster, and for me it leaves a little bit more to be desired. But you can't fit any more in. I mean, I, I do have to say, like, I think you did a really great job. Yes, uh, absolutely. With with what you work with, 20 by 20, I mean, no, it's, it's wonderful. the squares and the buildings, it looks great. Right. And you crammed it, like, yeah, stuff's everywhere. But and it's still... And this is the, the concern that's coming to my mind, or the thought that's coming to my mind. This is a great Facebook challenge. And a lot of these can be rated, liked, shared with the community, downloaded, uh, take a closer look at, um, simply through Facebook, or some kind of community where you can share images or Discord, you know what I mean? Um, but does it, do you quite, do you get as satisfied riding these coasters as you would a, a regular coaster contest or coaster spotlight? And do you get as satisfied checking out this park as it would be me and you walking around a sprawling park for 45 minutes? Does it hit on all the levels that we see on the regular content on the show? That I'm unsure of. However, did an amazing job and um, it's super fun. It's super creative. Yeah. It's a great idea. So what I'm trying to decipher here, is this a good creation or a creation idea for a contest fitting to my particular platform and that's the kind of feedback we're looking for and if everyone in the comments is saying i love this i want to see more of this you know i'd binge watch 70 episodes of this or if people are like make it bigger 40 by 40 and i know nexus recently did one that was a certain size too i think it was 50 by 50 i, I don't know i'd have to go get the details on it and those submissions uh, um those submissions are likely going to get submitted to Channel 5 Gaming and we're going to see them on the show anyways. So do we need to do a contest on it when there's probably a handful, a dozen or so submissions that could be coming in from that contest? So maybe we, we need to define something that's unique to Channel 5 Gaming but that still delivers on all the things that we always deliver on but is also gets the community excited. And I think this is a great community challenge but I don't know if we need to make individual videos for them all. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to know people's thoughts and what they think, and that's why we're putting out feelers, and tomorrow's episode we're going to have something a little bit bigger than this to show off. So let's just check out this last coaster and then talk about it a little bit more.
gr grinding our heads off a little bit on the end there. <laughs> it was very, very tame. Sh but, yeah. Shave your heads. Yeah, I, uh, so one thing I didn't mention is um, Tiago Hummel. It says it's his uh, name, but he's not. A, he doesn't have a rank. And uh, yeah, so you're not a Discord member. Come join us on Discord. So it's interesting. He found this challenge on Facebook, participated, but does not participate in the uh, Discord community or any of our other contests. So if you guys are uh, new here, check out our Discord if you play Planet Coaster and come join us because we are going to be doing a contest of some sort. We're just trying to figure that out. And, you know, uh, speaking more on the contest, we just finished the Dueling Coaster Contest, which was by far the craziest coaster contest we've ever done because there's more <laughs> coasters to make than just one. And we gave, like, no limits. And a lot of people created multiple Dueling Coasters that were exploration around the whole map. We saw some pretty crazy stuff. And through after riding all of those coasters, I must have rode over 200 coasters, you know? <laughs> So it's like, okay, I had an idea for another coaster contest, but I think uh, some people are like, but I like to build and I want to make little fun things and I don't want to do a coaster. And maybe I'm, I could use a break from riding another 200 coasters. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, maybe you could, yeah. But I could still, I'm still going to do the coaster spotlights. As you guys saw, we just hit coaster spotlight 800. I saw more planned. We're going to be riding more coasters. Just, I don't know if we need to do two a day right now. <laughs> I need a break. So we did. We definitely need to do something different, and people have been missing the parks. So with that said, maybe we've never done a park contest ever, and that's for reasons that I think um, we have enough park spotlights in the submission box, and it takes a lot of work. You know, sometimes we're in a park for 45 minutes to an hour. Do I really? No longer. Yeah, do I really want to make two hour videos, one, two a day for the next month? That's that's a concern, but that's only a concern if we let people use the whole map. So if we do a park contest, yeah. we got to constrain it. But is this too small? So leave your comments I, down it, below. Yeah, if I can add my two cents, Absolutely. I think this is, I definitely is too small. Uh, I think. I, looking at the screenshots, I thought it was a great contest idea. Looking at it closer in person, I feel like it uh, leaves a little bit to be desired in exploration. Yeah. So yeah. For, I would like to see a 40 by 40 and how much can be crammed in there. I think you could do a lot. You could get a big coaster I mean, in there. You, you can already, I, you know, I was testing out this 25 by 25, right? And uh, It's a lot bigger. There, no, but I already made like a 700, 800 meter coaster, RMC. You know, it, it's, it works. And then if you go underground and you you know, like there's there's a lot you can do even a, with a that 25 size. by 25 is like that, though. Yeah, but it's, it makes a big difference. It's uh, that's a lot of blocks. Extra I think 30 by 30 could be pretty good. Yeah. Anything bigger than this. Because the constraint is there, right? And if if that's also a thing we were talking about, like, do we let people add the terrain? So can you go on the ground? This guy did and it I, worked out kind of nicely. I like it. Yeah. I didn't go that much on the ground, but, but yeah, a little bit. Like people can go underground. underground and how high can you go, right? right? Some people yeah. might make a tower, that, and that's cool. Yeah. I, I mean, think I think the walls, good, yeah. the walls, the size, the whatever by whatever is enough of a constraint as is. At, from there, I'm willing to let people do whatever they want. I heard people yeah. saying, "Well, why not force a, multiple themes?" Well, it's mm -hmm. it's like, well, I want if someone wants to do Cyberpunk 2077, I want to see. I don't want that depend to have to put like a Western section in the corner. No. But people are gonna do it anyway. Anyway, I mean, like, yes. like in the last co contest, you didn't expect exploration coasters. No. Yeah. Well, they were. <laughs> but, pe <laughs> they but, were there. but people, <laughs> uh, people surprise me based off of the wiggle room that I give them. So if I start yeah. demanding multiple themes, uh, height restrictions, you know, blah 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 blah. Next thing you know, we get um, a lot of similarities. But if I just say, "Here's your borders, uh, go," we might see underground, we might see towers, we might see all sorts of stuff, and you just no. know, know know what to expect. And with that said, uh, I think a lot of amazing stuff can be done with this 20 by 20. I just don't know if uh, 70 videos is uh, the best way to present these. I think if you did a couple screenshots, a POV of the coaster, you know, and we just blasted through them, that would be good. But then I'm putting all my focus and energy into these tiny mini parks and some screenshots and stuff. And we just burn through all of the submissions in like, what, six videos. And I, yeah. I want I want a little bit more context to a reason to be subscribed to the channel, you know, something for you to watch and enjoy every single day and sit down and, uh, you know, have a good time. And not that that this isn't a good time it's just uh you know you we'll be blasting through 10 of these per episode or something 
and that could be fun and maybe that's what people enjoy if you guys really 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 like this then leave your thoughts down below and maybe we can do 10 of these in an episode i just don't know how yeah. um how it fares to the other content that we show off on the channel because we get so extreme with these coasters and parks that you know it's it's hard to talk and i do think if we yeah. gave someone two months to do something four times the size of this we would see some like parks that are competitive with the best parks we've ever seen on the channel yeah. even It'll though absolutely insane yes they would yeah. be and that's that's what i these... guess you can do if you give people like you know you have a week or you have two weeks right like a quick Right. fire contest you can do something like this it's like an exaggerated shop contest but i'm not looking to do that right now i want to yeah. i want people to get working for at least a month or two right mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. we we, we want to put out park spotlights we want we just did two months of non-stop videos so i'm not ready to do another marathon of stuff uh, or get right back into you know results videos winners prizes yada yada so if we do a shop contest right now uh, i'm all my focus will be on that and I know people are wanting the regular show again. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm against the tiny little contests right now, but we will do those tiny contests again in the future. I'm just trying to work out a new way of uh, doing it. Maybe have two contests side by side or something like that. Um, and then and the uh, the shop contest is in Discord only. And then we just show the winners in a, in a video for the, the channel. So I don't know. We have to figure something out. But I'm looking to do a bigger contest. And my my personal feeling is this one might be a little bit too small. But it all oh. Miss, yeah. Prove me wrong. If you really enjoy this and you want to see more of these, we can definitely do that. Now, well, let's try out the next video. Tomorrow's episode, tune back in. And we're going to do one bigger than this. And then the one yeah. after that, we're going to do a little bit bigger than that. And we'll see uh, where the sweet spot is. Yeah. So uh, I think that wraps up my thoughts. It's more of a discussion video here today, but <laughs> an also amazing creation by Tiago Hummel. So thank you so much for your submission, Tiago. Uh, yeah. re really fun. Pokey Park. I love the name as well. So it's a great submission and it's a great creation and it's a fun challenge idea definitely leave your thoughts down below we're going to be reading all the comments and stuff on this on this episode for sure and then tune back in for tomorrow's and we'll, we'll continue the uh digging deeper into contest ideas boom any final thoughts though no okay well there you guys go <laughs> thank you for tuning in thank you for watching if you enjoy leave a like and uh we'll see you guys in tomorrow's next mini park bye now bye now